Clutch, kennel. Nice job, that one was really, really good. All right, everybody, we are here for an update video with Clutch. Now, in this video, we're gonna be talking about something very, very, very specific to the questions you guys have been asking a lot lately. Now, everybody that's been following along with our program sees a lot of this right here. He is super focused. He's ready for his training session. He knows that is what is going on because we are here. He saw me get the cup of food. He knows that if he kennels up, good boy, he can get rewarded. <whistles> Sit. Good. All of those things are fantastic, but they don't help us in everyday life for the rest of the time outside of this 10 minute training session that happens once or twice a day, depending on your schedule. So what we're gonna be working on here is how to work through essentially a session smart dog or a dog that's understanding the only time that they need to listen or do what they're supposed to or what you're asking or focus on you is during the training session. It's not a good thing and we need to be able to work through that. So if this is your first time to our channel, guys, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, because it's 2020 and smashing things is what we do. We're gonna build a little momentum with him and then I'm gonna show you how to work through this. Let's get started. All right, Clutch, here, good job. We're gonna warm you up with just a couple. Let's go kennel. I know, there's so many options, kennel. Now, if you've seen some of his videos, we taught all of these behaviors and then we've incorporated cues just as he's gotten better. Kennel, I'm using a little bit of body language with him. Good, okay. Sit, nice job. Timing is important, guys. Kennel, good. Now, we are also, at this time, starting to differentiate between the cues. He needs to be doing what I'm asking, not just randomly guessing or only working on one at a time. Here, sit. We're also working on variable reinforcement. Kennel, good job. So he's getting multiple clicks for doing things right. And that number of clicks, number of tasks, all of those things is variable all the time. We're kind of playing that out to figure out how much is too much, how much is not enough to continue to challenge him. Here, sometimes it takes one, good boy. Kennel, focused on me, so I'm gonna use body language. Kennel, that little side step made a big difference, okay. Sit, good. So this is a great start, we definitely have his focus. Now what we're gonna do is move to one of those places that he even struggles a little bit more. It's gonna be outside, but we're gonna do a baby step with we've got kind of the back porch. We're gonna do the rest of his training session there. Now that we've built momentum here, we're gonna to move to a place where he's not always quite as focused or as good at listening. Come along. All right, so we're outside now, and this is where we're gonna do the rest of his training session. And this is something that's really good for you to work through, but you wanna do it gradually. You wanna build momentum like we did. We have his focus, now we've moved into this area, and he's still focused for this training session. You're gonna be able to rotate this around to lots of different places, whether that be outside, in the backyard, different parts of the house, whatever is a small challenge for your dog or where you're seeing those situations with dogs that kind of fall into this category like him, around 14 weeks, in between three and four months old, which he's 14 weeks right now, um, you're going to have those more independent type of things come out. So let's continue the session while we um, work through him differentiating between what I'm asking as well as increasing distances and things like that. Sit. Good. Holding that click until we see what we're looking for. Sit. Good job. Clutch. Kennel. Focused on me. So we're using more body language here. Kennel. Tried to hold that one because I knew it wasn't gonna work. Ah, kennel, good job. So we're gonna work just on that one for a second here. Kennel. Use that little thinker. Kennel. Mm. Kennel. 
kennel. There you go. Now, you may be asking, hey, I saw him jump on the bed, why didn't you mark that? And it's because I want him to res be responding at this stage in the game to the cue. I asked him to go, he didn't go, then he kind of randomly went at an awkward time. I want him to res respond to the cue, not just be haphazardly jumping around, guessing basically at what we're asking. Sit. Good. Now you can already see though, he's struggling here. He's struggling more out here than he was inside. Kennel. Kennel. Ah, Baba. Get those feet moving. A little momentum. Kennel. Good. Let's do a few more reps like that, see if we can help this. This is a new bed. It's slightly different than the ones inside, so it looks different. Kennel. It can take a second to figure it out. Good job. Remember that marks and ends the behavior, so it doesn't matter if he comes off right now. Kennel. Good. Okay. Kennel. Tried to give it when he was actively looking. Kennel. So this is our struggle point right now. He's sitting and, and targeting for here really, really well. Kennel. There you go. That was good. Keep putting it together. Kennel. 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 Ah, buddy. Okay. Trying to get further away here. Kennel. Clutch. Kennel. Clutch. Kennel. You are struggle bus in that one, big boy. Okay. Kennel. Clutch. Kennel. Right here. Come on. Kennel. Okay. Let's change my position. If it's not working, guys, try something just a little different. Okay. I marked that random one because we're struggling with this and I want to help him to succeed. Kennel. Good. Trying to wait till he's got a little more focus at it. He's either looking at that or something. I'm getting a ton of eye contact, a ton of focus. Kennel, good job. Okay, ready? Kennel, good. Okay. Kennel, much better. Now we're getting there. Okay. I'm giving him about two or three kibble at a time here. Kennel. Enough that he can eat quickly so it's not a distraction. Kennel. Nice. My movement's getting more subtle. I had just a little hand movement. Kennel. Nice job. All right, let's mix it up a little bit. We're getting some really good reps. Sit. Here. Sit. Nice job. Okay. <laughs> Kennel. Ah. Kennel. Nice. There we go. Okay. Kennel. Clutch. Kennel. Kennel. It's okay if he's going to follow hand signals. We're going to teach him that later. Kennel. Clutch. Kennel. Good boy. Think about it. You can see him kind of turning those wheels. Come on. He also shades to my right a lot. I don't necessarily care for that, but he does it in all aspects of his training. So we're going to try and put some more focus on other things. Giving him a couple freebies there because I'm trying to put more emphasis on that right now. Good. Kennel. Clutch. Kennel. Good. It's pretty distracted by that food cup. Sit. 
This is why those dogs become, our dogs become session smart. They've got the, the food pouch on or the food cup on. Now, another thing that you can do if your dog still struggles with this a little bit is you can actually put your old training pouch on, leave it on all day long, or if you're home on a Saturday, and make his meal last all morning long. So you do a few reps, good job, and then we go back to what we're doing. And you're gonna see a ton of focus and that's gonna continue. And as soon as you see that focus kind of leave you for a little bit, then call him back over, do a couple more reps. Incorporating and generalizing when and where this training can happen is really gonna make this better. We're gonna do a few more reps for him, then give him a jackpot. Sit. It's a fantastic morning session. Good job. Here, good. Kennel. Clutch, kennel. You do worse when I'm on this side of you. Let's try this side, okay? Clutch, kennel, nice, much better. You guys see the difference just between me standing against the house or the building, me standing away from that for whatever side, shading one direction or the other seems to work better for him and instead of fighting that right now, we're just gonna help him to be successful, okay. Kennel, clutch, 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 clutch. Kennel, there you go, much better. You can see it gets zoned in, focused, super, super focused. And that focus is gonna be beneficial later. Right now it's almost a distraction. Kennel, there, I cheated that one. Doing all my explaining. Good, clutch, kennel, nice job. That was really, really good. All right, folks, that's how we can work through a session smart dog. This is Clutch. He's doing a fantastic job. I'm the guy with the pink gun, and we will keep you posted in his next video. Mm -hmm.